How many times have you tried extending your internet only to run into the same issues over and over again? Especially when you're working from home and everyone in the house needs a reliable but fast internet connection. Especially your kids or siblings, they have latency issues when gaming and sometimes you hear them, Dad, the video isn't buffering upstairs. In today's video, we are going to look at number one, what makes this technology stand out from the competition? We're going to unbox a mocha adapter and then we're going to do an operation and speed test. This product comes in two models. These models are based on Mocha 2.5 standard. The models are ECB 7250, which is capable of speeds up to 2.5 gigabits per second. The second model is ECB 6250, which is capable of speeds up to 1 gigabits per second. The screen beam Mocha adapter allows you to enjoy high speed internet up to 2.5 gigabits per second throughout your house. I have used multiple technologies in order to get internet speeds throughout the house, including but not limited to mesh network adapters, wireless access points, ethernet over power networks, which have all but miserably failed to provide a consistent and reliable speed throughout the house. Mocha stands for Multimedia Over Coax Alliance. This alliance was formed in 2006 probably. It originally started off with IPTV, but later moved on towards Ethernet connection. Nowadays, the latest Mocha standard is 2.5 and 2.5 gigabits per second, but in the future, it'll go to 3.0, which is 10 gigabits per second. The technology allows you to use internet throughout your house with the existing coax infrastructure. So with the advent of high speed internet, a lot of people are cutting the cord and this infrastructure existing in many houses, which could be used to extend your internet in a solid fashion. It can still be used in conjunction with cable TV if you have a little splitter. I'll go over that in my video. What makes this technology stronger than mesh network? In a mesh network, every hop between a node causes the speed to decrease by half. Let's take a look at what comes inside one of these boxes. So this is a Mocha 2.5 adapter and it is a 6250 model. And you have general paperwork in it, but this is the screen beam adapter inside. And you can see it has a very solid build quality to it. And the ports are the coax that go in on the side. The MPS button, which is an encryption button. Um, it is a 6250, which allows one gigabits per second. There is the ethernet and power on the side and a reset button. But that's all there is to it. If we open the box further, we have the ethernet cable inside it. And uh, this ethernet cable can also be used whenever you plug it in on the side. And you can also use it for testing two Mocha adapters out to see if uh, they work the way they're supposed to work. You have uh, a little length of a coax cable inside and then uh, you finally have the power adapter. I will go over whenever you plug in the power adapter what lights you're supposed to see on the unit and what they mean uh, and you can just plug it in on the side you will have to have to use two adapters one for the mocha adapter that is on one level and one on the other level so if we look at the manual you can see how it shows how to hook it up on the wall and you can use a splitter if you want to hook up a tv and then on the other end, uh, you can do the same thing by hooking up the devices that are needed. So I would recommend getting, an, uh, getting a router like this. And when you're upstairs, you can hook it up. In this example, you can see that this wire would go up to your router that is coming into your house. And then you have that adapter that you can hook up over there. If you want to hook up the TV, this is the adapter that you would use. So this is a Mocha 2.0 adapter and that would hook up and on one side you would hook the TV up to get that signal out of it. And then when you go into the other room, you can do the same thing if you want multiple signals out of it with Mocha adapters. 
Uh, I think you can hook up up to 16 to it and then the red wire goes into the router in the other room. Or what you can do is if you have a router like this with different switches on it, you can just plug in the ethernet cable in the back end of the router that is on another level. And for example, if you have an Apple TV with all of these devices, they do have an ethernet port in the back. So you would just hook it up like so and the ethernet is hooked in and you would get the exact same speed that you're getting with your incoming internet. Same way for Roku. If you look on the back, you can see there is an ethernet adapter port on the back and you would just plug it in like so and it would give you the full speed. So no more buffering issues when you're using something like this. And then you can see on the back, this is where the internet is going to go. So let's do a test really quick. So this is my house downstairs. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the adapter and see how it works. And I'll show you the lights too. So you take the adapter, you plug in the ethernet cable. This is going to go into one side and then you're going to hook it in to the incoming router from your cable company or from your internet company. The coax cable is going to go here and the other side is going to go to the wall. So you just screw that in. So those are the two main connections. After you have those hooked up, what you need to do is hook up the power cable. And the power cable is just that adapter. You plug it in on the side and you can see that the power light has turned on. So the power light has turned on. When it two devices talk to each other, uh, you'll see that the coax light starts blinking like that, which shows that it has a solid connection um, and it is working properly. So let's do a speed test really quick. And I'm doing the speed test downstairs to see what speed I'm getting downstairs. So I have a 300 megabits per second connection. So I'm getting a good speed downstairs, which is about 312. And since it's a fiber optic connection, I'm getting the same upload speed too. That's the beautiful thing about fiber optic. So now after I've had everything hooked up with the Mocha adapter uh, and I have not turned that on yet, I'm going to look at the speed upstairs. So I'm only getting 20 megabits per second or 18 megabits per second upstairs and it's not very impressive at all. So the next test that I'm going to do is where I'm going to hook up both adapters and connect to the router upstairs and look at that. I'm getting the exact same speed in the same place upstairs. Now one thing that I do want to point out, this is an older model. You can see that the splitter was included within the device before. So you can see a coaxin and a TV STB out connection. But with the newer version that they came out with, they just put an MPS encryption button on the side, which is different from what they had before. Other than that, they're exactly the same. Uh, so they just took that and converted it into this, which is an adapter you have to buy separately on the side or a splitter in order to go ahead and use it. But do make sure whenever you buy it, if you're going to use a 2.5 technology, make sure it's Mocha 2.5 and you can look at the frequency too. But other than that, it's uh, exactly the same and they're uh, compatible. So at the end of this video, I'm going to give the screen beam a thumbs up, uh, also known as the action tech device, especially when compared to devices like this, where I've tried hooking these up and they have not ever worked in the past. So I think it's a really good technology to use, especially if you can use it in your existing home with whatever infrastructure you have in place. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Uh, so if you like this video, I'm going to share a link in my video. You can go ahead and review and look up this product, especially if you have little kids. 
and they're on their iPads or they're gaming all the time, this product will really help you out. So I didn't see any cons to this product. The only con that I saw was you have to have two Mocha adapters. Either you can have a Mocha adapter built into the modem or the router that you have inside your house, or you have to have two of these, one downstairs and one upstairs or in the area that you're not able to get, get good internet. That is what you need. But other than that, I think it's a great product. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like or comment and don't forget to subscribe.